For sale, 2003 Triton TR-186. Three owners, I am the third of three. All three owners, garage kept, as you can tell by the paint. The paint is pretty much flawless from stern to bow, gunnels down all the way to the center hall. There's a few little blemishes just from normal wear and tear here and there. But as you can see, the paint is, is excellent. The clear coat is uh, perfect. The thing really sparkles. Uh, trailer. The trailer has one little rust spot on the other side. We have brand new tires on both sides, brand new bearing buddies. All the lights work. You can see, I'll briefly go over the trailer. Has a drop tongue and not a swing tongue. The tongue actually drops and slides back here. So this will be the ending point for the trailer once you drop the tongue and push it back. Has a brake assist, buddy brakes, disc brake system. Again, make the trailer quick. No rust. This is the only rust spot that I've noticed. Again, all the lights work. Again, the boat or the uh, the paint you can see is, uh, is is in perfect condition. So 18.6. We have uh, bow lights, LED lights on both sides for the navigation. Switched, so you don't have to worry about the poles anymore. Paint is good. All rubber is good. Nothing's really faded or dry rotted at all. At the back of the boat, we have two 10 foot talons with a stern navigation light on top of the talon. No more pole back here, it's, it's switched. You got a 150 Merc with a 21 pitch Mirage prop. Does 54 complete tournament load, two anglers. Does around 60, one person. Uh, no tournament load. As you can see, we got the transducer mounted low back here. It's a total scan. Uh, Lowrance, down, side, and sonar. Runs, uh, you get readings up to about 40 miles an hour on this because it's on the bottom portion of the stern. Okay, we got uh, carpet. Carpet is in excellent shape all the way around. You have a few little blemishes here and there. As you can see, the carpet is excellent all the way around. We have original seats that have just been reupholstered. So you're getting brand new seats. As far as electronics go, we have HDS7 units at the bow. Uh, transducer, trolling motor is uh, sonar and down scan. The units are linked. So we got the other HDS7 at the console. They can share uh, pretty much everything. Maps, sonar, the scanning. You have uh, all toggle switches here work. Everything works, trim works, everything, all the gauges work. New ignition switch with the kill switch on the ignition. USB for charging your phones. Hot foot. Talon remote mounted here. Uh, got a brand new two month old uh, Mikoda Fortrex 80 pound thrust. Custom uh, starboard bracket with uh, trim and uh, courtesy and anchor lights up here. Toggle switches, you got your Talon foot pedal right here. Recess tray for your foot pedal for your trolling motor. Uh, rod strap here. And I use this to strap my net here. Let's get to storage. I mean, again, as you can see, the, the carpet is 
good. All the rubber's good. Everything's clean. Paint's clean on the console. Everything's good. Hot foot. All right, storage. Cooler. All latches work perfectly, no issues. All hinges are good, no rust. Tackle storage, seven slots. And you can fit more stuff on top. Rod storage, got six designated spots for rods, but you could fit 20, 30 rods in here if need be, easily. I use it to store soft plastics, but again, you know, it's big. I got a lot of stuff in here. Those those boxes are the, the deeper boxes. They're too deep there. Again, everything works. In the back, we got Livewell. Livewell has a oxygenator installed and a brand new live well pump. It's been installed, it's got LED lights that the previous owner installed. They work. Co-angler side, you got rot, or excuse me, tackle storage. Seven slots for tackle with room on top. Lighting there that works. English side, you got a cool little tray, keep my cold tags there, my scale, those things there. Got another seven slots for storage, for tackle, or whatever you choose. Oil reservoir fill there. Let's get to the back. Got a, a tray here, a little storage tray here. I use it for uh, jumper cables. Things like that. You got three brand new AGM 24 volt series batteries. Have a three bank charger with plug in there. All wires are nice and neat. Like I said, a brand new bilge pump, brand new live well pump. Uh, cranking battery there, accessories battery there. Brand new again, AGM. And you got the Merc 150. Uh, the boat does, let's see, the boat does 54 miles an hour. I don't know if I went out, already went over this or not. 54 miles an hour, turning the load around 60. Non, gets on plane really quick. The boat is tournament ready, turnkey, absolutely turnkey, ready to go for beginner, intermediate, or a professional that doesn't want to spend 50, 60, 70,000 on a new boat, to be honest with you. So there she is. Great boat. Thanks for watching.